autoregressive models are remarkably flexible at handling a wide range of different time series patterns. Hi guys, this is Kavya from Edureka. Welcome to this video on autoregressive models. At first, let's have a look at the agenda. We'll start with time series and forecasting, and then we'll see what is autoregression and what is stationarity. We'll have a look at the types of autoregressive models and followed by how to pick the autoregressive model. We'll conclude the session with the use cases of AR. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you are interested in online trading certification, do check out the link given in the description. Now let's go ahead and have a brief introduction to time series and forecasting. In mathematics, a time series is a sequence taken at the successively equally spaced points in time. Thus, it is a sequence of discrete time data. The time can be of any order, such as in terms of years, months, hours, or minutes. For example, analyzing profits in a company over many years would be an example of time series. Or checking the weather at different timestamps can also be a time series. However, checking the temperature over different matrix, such as city or latitude, will not be an example of time series. So using suitable time series, forecast can be made. Forecasting is a technique that uses historical data as inputs to make informed estimates that are predictive in determining the direction of future trends. There are various notations used in time series data. The alphabet T, taking numeric values such as 1, 2, 3, etc., is the index denoting the particular time period. YT would be the series of n values corresponding to each time index T. The Greek alphabet phi denotes the coefficient for each value of YT. C is a constant term denoting the bias of the model, and eta denotes the error in forecast in time t given the actual value yt minus the forecasted value ft. Having familiarity with time series and the notations, now let's have a look at what autoregression is. The term autoregression is composed of two terms, auto and regression. The term regression refers to the prediction of some numeric value. This value can be of any scale and still be regressive. And auto here means self, that is, prediction of numeric value based on its own previous selves. No other factors are taken into consideration except for its own historical data. Consider this example. Here the price of an object is determined based on the date. The predictions are only based on its own older values. Thus, we can say that Autoregression is a time series model that uses observations from previous time steps as inputs to predict the same characteristics at the next time step. To calculate the value at time step t for value y, the regression equation looks like this, where y t is the value at time t, c is the constant, phi is the coefficient to each of the previous time step values, and eta is the error term of the equation. A constraint to using autoregression is that the time series data needs to be stationary. So now let's have a look at what do we mean by stationarity. Time series data is said to be stationary if the statistical properties do not change over time. It is supposed to show an inclining or declining overall trend. So the mean and variance should remain constant over different slices in the data. Also, a time series with seasonal patterns with no clear trend is not stationary. For example, this data depicts incline in some months and decline in some others, forming a seasonal pattern. Hence, it is not stationary. However, this data is showing a clear inclining trend. So it is an example of stationary data. So guys, when we know that the data is stationary, we can proceed with autoregression. Now let's have a look at the various kinds of autoregressive models. When I talk about the types of autoregressive models, I mean the number of previous values to take into account. Let's say in this example, we have data till 2020 for profit, and we want to find the profit for the coming year, that is 2021. The type of AR model will determine which of the date from the previous years we will take into consideration. AR1 will only take one previous year's data point into consideration. The equation shows that to determine yt, we are only taking the value of y of t minus 1, along with its coefficient phi, constant c, and error term eta. Similarly, AR2 takes both the data of t minus 1 and t minus 2 to predict yt. Note that in the equation, 
there's always one constant and one error term but the number of coefficients of older values depends on the type of autoregressive model we take the number of previous values is not limited to one or two it can be any p values taken into consideration accordingly the equation will contain p coefficients too now that we know about the kinds of autoregressive models Let's find out how to pick the number of lag values to consider. You might think that it's obvious to consider all the previous data points to build a model. However, the rule of autoregression is to make the simplest model with least number of parameters. To determine which lag values to take, we can consider something known as a PACF plot. PACF stands for partial autocorrelation function. As explanatory with the name, it determines the partial correlation between a given point and its lag or previous value. We shall only take into account those parameters for which the lag is higher than a threshold value. Consider this plot. The data points corresponding to each year looks like this. We have profit for each year. From this data, we need to make a derived chart where we will take the difference in profit between that year and two years before. So lag will be equal to 2 and we will find the value of y of t minus y of t minus 2. Thus lag of 2020 will be profit of 2020 which is 82 minus profit of 2018 which is 93 that is equal to minus 11. Lag of 2018 will be profit in 2018 minus profit in 2016 which is 93 minus 94 equals minus 1 and so on. For this data, we make a PACF plot taking threshold as magnitude of 10. From this plot, we see that the profit lag for the years 2014 and 2018 is below the magnitude of 10. Thus, we will only take the points of yt with t equals 2012, 2016, and 2020. The equation for this function will be the forecasted value for 2021 equals constant c plus phi into y of 2012 plus phi into y of 2016, plus phi into y of 2020, plus the error term eta. This is the simplest equation of autoregression to forecast a time series taking only the significant lags. Finally, let's have a look at some of the use cases of autoregression. The model of autoregression is based on autocorrelation. Thus, autoregression can help us find if there is a lack of randomness in the data. Secondly, as we have seen, the primary use case of autoregression is to predict future changes using time series indexing. Autoregression is also commonly used to analyze markets, such as stock market. It can also forecast any kind of recurring or seasonal pattern in the data. I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please leave a message in the comment section. Happy learning! I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!